Hello everybody, how are you today? Hope everything's going good. Um, so today we're gonna do a swipe on a black background and we're gonna um, this is we're gonna start with Amsterdam Dioxys in purple so the black that I have down here is my color place right out of the can and I put it on since this is going to be a swipe we don't need it to be as thick as a pillow for a bloom um, where was I going with this? So, um, you kind of have more control. You don't have to spin as much because you don't have as much paint on the canvas. So, you're not as likely to spin off your ends. or lose as much of your composition, your design. Um, I think we're gonna do kind of like two things here that are going sort of the same direction and then we're going to blend them So there's our dioxys in purple. And you kind of want to keep everything in the middle because as you spin, it's going to spread. And then you'll have, if you were out here more and out here more, you'd be losing it off the side. So you kind of want to keep it centered. And I also learned with the help of some knowledgeable people that um, I've been getting on my white base lately, I've been getting some of those little dots. And what the problem could be is that I'm stirring my colors too much and inserting bubbles into my colors. So it's not necessarily always going to be your base that has the bubbles in it but it's going to be your um colors and i have been stirring them because they have been thickening up on me so i'm pretty sure that that's the problem that color was this little piggy or now i'm going with this little piggy sapphire so so in continuing on what i just said i do want to stir my color but i just want to do it lightly gently and then we're going to get rid of those bubbles before we swipe or blow as was the case in um in the case of a bloom you always want to get rid of your bubbles this is anita's gold metallic paint I just want to make sure I have a lot of gold in this one and I'm wondering oh yeah this is the one I want primary elements sky blue I think this is going to be pretty together. 
All right, so now let me get my swiping tool. Oh, which one do we want to use? We're going to use this one. So I'm going to shake my cell activator. Pop my bubbles. Okay. Got to get rid of this little goober on the top of my cell activator bottle. We're going to put it down. I'm going to use my bottle tip to kind of spread it around. There we go. And we're going to swipe. We'll swipe this one first. Okay, swipe this one second. I do want to get that right there, so let's get my little swiping tool out of my bucket of tools. And we're going to come right in here and do that. All right. Let's let it do its thing. Well, these are pretty colors. I like it, especially on the black. So you do it. Oh, wow. This gold is just, it's got like an outer halo of gold. It's really pretty. So let's let that brew for a little bit. I don't know if it's going to matter, but we're going to use our heat gun on it. I don't normally do this because they say it can um, form a skin 
and we don't want to skin when we want to turn things and then we're going to take our little embossing tool and we're going to kind of blend these two up the middle And it give it a little bit of definition out here just so it's not so stark of a line I like that so let's spin it a little bit. See what happens. Ooh, pretty. That's very abstracty with some negative space. I like it. Let me take my jar of spare paint get some of these off of here so I don't make my box a mess and have black paint all over creation here <laughs> what else would be pretty on here a copper okay let's spin some more remember we don't have to spin much because we don't have a whole heck of a lot on as our base oh look at that isn't that pretty something totally different All right, I want to, I have a little bit right here of canvas that doesn't have paint on it. Just going to go along here, smooth out my sides, because we are almost done. And one more spin. Let's see what we got here. Yes, we've got, we have the paint going over the sides nicely. voila so I kind of wish I would have used a little bit more paint uh, colored paint but I like this it's pretty it just stands out we don't uh, yeah we do see the purple not so much maybe a lighter purple but this is sharp and uh, I'm gonna take you down and show you this gold because it's amazing. Look at the gold. Oh, the gold and purple is really nice too when it meets up with each other. Just so shimmery and sparkly and beautiful. So there you have it. That is a nice little swipe for this morning. Um, you want to use your vibrant colors on, um, on a black background. Very pretty. 
All right, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Um, share your comments uh, in the description box on what colors you really love on a black background. And um, please subscribe to my channel too. I'm working on getting to 500, so I hope to do that in the next two weeks, and your help would be appreciated. All right, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye.